There once was a great philosopher named Aristotle who believed that intelligence was not just one single thing, but rather a combination of several different abilities. He believed that intelligence included abilities such as perception, memory, and reasoning. This view on intelligence would become the foundation for many future theories. Years later, during the early 20th century, another philosopher named Charles Spearman developed a new theory of intelligence called the G-Factor Theory. Spearman believed that intelligence was not just a combination of different abilities, but rather one single general ability, which he referred to as the G-Factor. This theory was based on his research that showed that people who performed well in one cognitive task tended to perform well in others as well. Following Spearman, in the 1940s, a psychologist named Louis Thurstone came up with a theory that challenged Spearman's G-Factor theory. Thurstone believed that intelligence was made up of seven different factors, which he called primary mental abilities. These primary mental abilities included things like verbal comprehension, spatial ability, and numerical ability. Then, in the 1950s and 60 seconds, a psychologist named J.P. Guilford came up with yet another theory of intelligence. Guilford believed that intelligence was made up of a vast number of different abilities, which he referred to as operations, contents, and products. This theory proposed that there were 120 different possible combinations of these abilities, which he referred to as intellectual dimensions. In the 1980s, another psychologist named Howard Gardner developed his own theory of intelligence, which he called the multiple intelligences theory. Gardner believed that intelligence was not just one single thing, but rather a combination of several different abilities, each of which he considered to be a separate type of intelligence. These included things like linguistic intelligence, logical mathematical intelligence, and musical intelligence. Finally, in the 1990s, a psychologist named Robert Sternberg proposed his own theory of intelligence, which he called the triarchic theory. Sternberg believed that intelligence was made up of three different components, analytical intelligence, creative intelligence, and practical intelligence. Analytical intelligence involves problem solving and critical thinking, Creative intelligence involves thinking outside of the box and coming up with new ideas, and practical intelligence involves applying knowledge and skills to real-world situations. All of these theories, from Aristotle to Sternberg, have contributed to our understanding of what intelligence is and how it can be measured. While there is no one single definition of intelligence, and no one single test that can measure it accurately, the various theories have helped us to better understand the many different abilities that make up this complex and multifaceted concept. Whether it is a combination of different abilities or a single general ability, it is clear that intelligence is an essential part of what makes us human and a key factor in our success and achievement in life.